whatever. Oh, um, and then hi. I swap oh, hi. Hey, hi. Hey. Hi, guys. Um, you know, we're doing this little bit of behind the scenes oh, yeah. video, and I wanted to come and ask you some questions about gemstones, if that's okay. Okay, cool. I think yeah. we're finished up now yeah. anyway. Yeah. So, what, you're new about the Geo collection? Yeah, so, lovely little combo today. What are you wearing? Oh, what am I wearing? First of all, beaded. Double chain, which my new fave, and obviously the Lucy Williams Roman the arc. Classic. Great little combo. Um, so obviously you've just sort of oh briefly yeah. shown me all of the gemstones you found. I just wanted you to tell us a little bit more about it. So basically, I discovered these gemstones that I absolutely love, but they wouldn't work well in jewellery. So they were too sort of either large or too opaque, but I just loved the shapes and the, f the, f the kind of natural formation. So I thought, yeah, them. how can we kind of incorporate them into our jewellery? And I love the names as well. So this one is the Argonite Star. So I just think it is the most beautiful three-dimensional. It almost reminds me of like a sort of... I don't know, a heart with like arteries coming off it. But um, but there's something just so, I don't know, geometric, but at the same time organic about it. It just feels like this perfect, natural, f you know, fit to this more three-dimensional look that we want to go into. Mm -hmm. Then my other favourite, bismuth. I mean, this Those is a natural really gemstone. Amazing. Can you imagine? These natural colours, like the blues, the greens, the pinks, I mean, I just absolutely love it and again this reminds me it's very art deco yes, the, the kind of the that. formations are completely natural they're, they're impossible to use in jewelry because everyone is different so what we wanted to do is find our perfect ones and then we basically 3d printed them and it was also something i really wanted to get into well, so you love a bit of technology don't you well yeah mm -hmm. i hadn't done the 3d printing before so it was like this something that was on my list to do and I just wanted to find the perfect project to get behind and this was this natural extension of my love of gemstones but then combining it with technology and 3D printing. Mm. Oh the other one, Desert Rose. I mean And it look really at does that. look like a rose, I love it. Yeah. And again I'm not really a flower person and I sometimes find like flowers a bit cheesy but this is the way in which it's kind of cool it, as you said it's like that texture it's sculptural this one is very sculptural I think that's why I absolutely love it so I just wanted to sort of see what they would look like once they were printed and then cast so obviously we 3d print them then we shrink them then we cast them and it just then having these kind of gold basically nugget versions of these natural right. gemstones do you think we should have a look at the, some of the um, final products? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've got them. Oh, yeah, they're here. So let's have a look at like how it kind of translated. Um, so, for example, this necklace on the Desert Rose is the 3D printing. So it's just beautiful. so sculptural. I also really wanted to do something more sculptural. I mean, the bismuth we just put into all different sort of formations. So these are all different versions. This is the bismuth ring. Okay. Also, on the bismuth, there was one piece that I found that looked like a heart. And again, I'm not really into hearts, but I just love the fact that it was like this geometric kind of heart shape. Absolutely love that. Really stunning. Um, and then the Argonite star. Yeah, well. the Argonite star here. This is cool. Just love the 3D sort of. Isn't that amazing? It's all about new ideas, moving forward, you know, constantly innovating, not just standing still. I think that's the thing that we all love doing is, you know, yes, we have, you know, our classics and the pieces that everyone loves, but we're also always trying new things. Amazing. But well, thank you so much. Pleasure. And um, I will see you shortly.